My Life as a Courgette is an animated stop motion fantastic movie going experience. I kind of put off watching this because it just kind of looked weird and quirky. The runtime of just over an hour almost made me kind of weary as well because I wasn't really too sure if it was going to have a sort of bloated out short feeling like made into a feature and it wasn't really like that or, or whether it was going to be condensed and I would wanted more which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The movie uh, is centred around the main character of Courgette. That's not his main name, but that's what his mother calls him and that's what he likes to be referred to. And at the start of the movie, he has a very sort of like difficult childhood with his mother who's drinking a lot and he's kind of hiding up in the attic and something happens and he has to go to an orphanage. And he has to come to terms with some things that have happened, how the way his life is and, and so meet other kids in uh, so similar-ish standings as him, you know, they're all kind of devoid of parents and, and, and kind of beaten and bruised throughout life's uh, natural occurrences that kind of brought them to this orphanage where they all kind of reside. And Courgette meets uh, Camille there, a young girl who he has a, an instant sort of affection for, a connection with, and together they kind of say and better and enrich each other's lives. And that's me kind of boiling the story down, but there's a whole lot more to this fantastic movie that, honestly, I think everybody should see it as truly terrific. The, the movie is devastatingly heartbreaking. These kids, um, it, it gives you some very strong hints to uh, what's happened to each and every one of them, and it's all horrible circumstances that they're there. Nobody has been brought together to this orphanage through happy coincidences. It's all terrible things that's brought these people together. They're all kind of bruised and battered by life. And together, they kind of enrich each other's life. They make everything a little bit better. They, they almost create a family for each other, somebody to rely on, somebody that doesn't have the perfect lifestyle, who understands that people have faults and understand that, that people are, are bruised and battered and uh, they're not damaged, they're not unfixable. And together they all kind of rally together through small meaningful conversations or moments that just make everything suddenly a little bit better. And it's it's a strange, strange movie because on one hand it is devastatingly heartbreaking, like I said, and, and, and kind of upsetting, but it's uplifting and life affirming at the same time as well. It's such a strange thing to be wrapped up within an animated movie that is just jaw-droppingly amazing. I love the character of Courgette. I loved his little idiosyncrasies as he kind of comes to terms with what happened. He's dealing with the people round about him and how he begins to come out of his shell thanks to a police officer that shows him a little bit of compassion, thanks to Camille and even thanks to the bully Simon who when he first gets to this place is really kind of antagonistic and his face just kind of like blah 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 but there's a softer side to him that you get throughout the movie that it's one of the things that really marvelled me was when he gets to this orphanage, I thought, oh, I kind of know where it's going to go and everybody was kind of like mean and, and twisted and you just feel as if it's more crap for this guy on top of what he already had to deal with. But it slowly turns as they realise that he's kind of one of them, they come into this group and they, and they kind of support each other. And that was the best thing about it. And it has some ridiculously funny moments. There's a moment where the kids are talking about their perceptions of what sex is and it's just hilarious and it sounds like the kind of thing that kids would probably believe in or conversations that they would have about a subject they know nothing about. It's funny that way, it has certain funny moments and the way the characters look are all pretty terrific as well. They're, they're, they're odd, they're, they're strange characteristics or looking characters but they all fit perfectly in this story. I think my life as a courgette is, is absolutely amazing terrific movie it's mandatory movie watching in my opinion i think it's something that you have to search out you have to check out as soon as and if you want the easy option it's on amazon prime uk you don't even have to pay if you've got that service you can just watch this masterpiece and i don't use that word often no masterpiece especially not for a movie that i've just watched once this is something that just grabs a hold of you straight away and the fact that they're animated uh, stop motion characters doesn't matter. These are real people. These are real sort of, like affected people and you're drawn into their story. Amazing movie. Five out of five. I'm so glad that I finally put it on and watched it. 
I, I, I'm kicking myself that I didn't watch it sooner than this. This is amazing. Please check it out. Let me know in the comment box what you thought of it. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.